Okay. So like I was saying with death, um, for me, it's always a really positive card because death is a rebirth. It's changes. It's a transformation. So Leo, this says that whether you're single or looking to reconcile um, internally, and it can be externally too. It could be exercise, diet, changing your hair, um, you know, changing habits, etc. But death is often an internal change as well. It's a new beginning inside yourself. It's a new way of thinking. It's a new way of living or um, maybe, you know, more of a positive attitude or maybe you're meditating or, you know, something inside of you is urging a change, which eventually will reflect um, externally as well. So not a bad card for the theme of the month. All right. The first card you have, which is your current position coming into the month, is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, if you're single, is somebody who is looking for some sort of clarity. So if you're dating um, or if you're looking back, looking to get back into the dating world, the Queen is saying you're looking at it, um, you're wanting clarity. Like, is online dating the best solution for me? Is a meetup group the best solution for me? What went wrong before if I tried to date? Um, some of you may have been on hiatus and now you're coming back to it. Some of you have been kind of slow and steady, putting some effort into it, but not a ton of effort. And maybe, you know, the holidays has something to do with it. You've been pushing it a little um, more than you normally would. Maybe you've been feeling kind of just not interested in dating and, you know, spending time alone. Um, and this is saying, you know, you're willing to and you really want a change in your love life, right? You do want some sort of change, some sort of rebirth back into meeting people or meeting, you know, somebody to have a relationship with, eventually move on to something more if that's what you desire in your love life. And the queen is saying, you can have that. You just need to figure out, you need some insight into what you want and then what's going to suit you the best. Because as we all know, regardless of what, you know, sign you are, dating is tough. And we, oh, sorry, my entire deck just fell on the floor. Um, Dating is, is tough, no matter what sign you are. But, um, you know, if you go about it the right way, if you figure out the right avenue for you, maybe online dating was too stressful. Maybe you're not meeting the right kind of people. Maybe, I mean, there's a lot of different, um, you know, different dating avenues that I've been learning about uh, myself recently, just because I've been looking into it because I do this. And I think, you know, it's important to know there's other avenues other than, you know, the BS of online dating because I've done that myself and it can be a really good experience for some and a really terrible experience for some. But if you're dating, there are some new things coming out that I'm seeing where um, it's more of a matchmaking service. A lot of those can be really expensive, but I've seen some that have come out recently that are a little less expensive and they're a little more geared towards you actually going on a date because I think some of the biggest pet peeves a lot of people have had is you know, the ghosting or the breadcrumbing or whatever all these fancy words for just being a douchebag is. And so um, I think, you know, Leo, you want to date. You have that fire, that desire. I mean, you are a fire sign and um, you, you have that passion and ferocity in you. So you want to date. You just, you're like, I'm not going to do it the old way. I've got to figure out some other way of doing this. That's not going to make me feel completely, you know, insane. Um, if you're looking to reconcile somebody is either you were dishonest with somebody or somebody was dishonest with you. So because the queen of swords for anybody looking to reconcile it says that you're being critical about somebody or somebody's being critical about you and you're just looking for honesty or they're looking for honesty. Now, I feel like for the majority of you, you're seeking the honesty. You're not quite understanding what happened or you were blindsided by something or there was an affair. Somewhere in the queen, you were looking for some sort of insight, direction, um, just understanding exactly what happened. Now, you've got to be careful with this card, too, because there is a critical aspect of it. So you may still be in that stage of feeling angry and wanting to point fingers, which may be rightfully so, but it may not be. And so this may be saying ease up a little bit and listen to what this person has to say if you do end up in communication with them. For some of you, I feel like either you've attempted to communicate with them or they have you and either, you know, you're getting, you know what, I was going to say either you're getting there or you're not, but I feel like for a majority of you, you're not. Or I feel like if they're trying to contact you, you want nothing to do with it, even though you still have 
you know, some strong feelings for this person and still feel this connection. So you're more torn with, do I cut it off? Um, or do I pursue possibly getting the answers I need in order to ever trust this person again? Um, be careful with this card though, Leo, because the queen can be critical. Um, and like I said, could be pointing fingers, but the queen can also be critical of herself. So if you, whether you're male or female, so if you're, if you are trying to figure out what happened or you're not understanding why they don't want to be with you, or maybe they had an affair or whatever, the last thing that you need to be doing right now is blaming yourself or criticizing yourself saying you did something wrong or that maybe if you had done something different, they would have done something different. So I feel like Leo, if you're looking to reconcile, some of you are placing some blame on yourself um, that really you don't need to do that to yourself. The next card you have is anything internal um, that you're feeling throughout the month of December. And you have the tower, which um, it can be interesting. If it was external, I would be worried that somebody was losing their job or something was happening that in that direction. But because this is internal and how you're feeling coming into the month, this is a breakdown of walls. This is a breakdown of all foundations. This is about tearing everything down and, and it's a dissolution. So it's um, removing everything and building from the ground up. So if you're looking to date, I think these actually go very well because this is you saying, I'm not going to date the way I did before. Whatever behaviors I did, whatever behaviors I um, portrayed or whatever behaviors I accepted from other people that were not you know, good enough or maybe I allowed treat people to treat me badly or maybe you, know, you weren't always the best with people and just assumed like, you know, maybe insecurities came out and you assumed that, you know, they were game players or whatnot. Whatever this is, the tower is saying, you've got to break down those walls. And if you're looking for somebody in your life and you're looking for a, a relationship, you're going to have to break down any walls you have up regarding love, romance around your heart. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go out and wear your heart on your sleeve and, you know, be willing to sacrifice your emotional being or your soul or your heart to get what you want. It does, however, mean that if you want to date and you want to meet somebody, um, you can't have that chip on your shoulder if you've had bad experiences in the past. The tower is saying, look, if you, if you break down your wall brick by brick, you know, and you let the universe know, I want something great. I want to build something amazing with somebody. I need a solid foundation though. I need something built on trust, something built on security, something built on um, genuineness of both myself and this person that I'm going to meet, um, both being the best people we can, or at least being honest with each other, then you can get there. And the queen's all about honesty too. So if you're dating, this tells me, look, you just want the real deal. You want somebody honest. You want somebody caring. You want somebody to just be themselves because you want to feel free to just be yourself and be open and honest with somebody as well. Um, if you're looking to reconcile, this is a breakdown of a relationship. This is a this is a revelation of either you need to move on or a revelation that there was a betrayal here and it was either worse than you thought or you are finding out answers and that's why the queen is coming in um, as somebody seeking those answers. And the tower is saying, look, these answers may crush you. They may not be what you want. You may find out that it's not what you want. Um, but the good thing with the tower is you can always start with a clean slate and build from the ground up. Now, I'm not saying reconciliation isn't possible, but there's some unanswered questions here, Leo. There's some surprises. There's some feelings of less than or um, hardships that have taken a hold of your dignity to a certain extent. And, you know, I just, I feel some of you just completely crushed with whatever you figured out or whatever keeps coming at you. In fact, for some of you, I feel like you're starting to get the answers and you knew it was going to be not very great. And it seems like they're not, it, it seems like it's, it's almost worse than what you expected. So if that's the case, you know, I really apologize, but this is internal too. So I, I warned you here not to be too critical and here, maybe you're making them worse than it has to be. Now I'm sure somebody's going to message me and say, Oh no, he or she were awful and whatever. And I get that right. Because there's millions of people out there in relationships, and I'm sure there's a scenario for every single one. But this says, you know, look, 
if things are bad, but you still love this person and you want to communicate and you want to find out the truth, then that's what you need to do. Look at it clearly. Um, yes, you can be angry. Yes, you can have some negative feelings. But if you do this, that everything's horrible and, you know, everything's coming to an end, you're not going to get anywhere with that. The next card you have is your distant past over the past five, ten years. This is generally, um, you know, long, long time ago. Could even be like, you know, family relations, siblings, parents. I always bring this card up as I state in every read because it's super important to remember what good things to take with you in a relationship and what bad things to maybe not fall into the habit of doing if you behaved a certain way or if you allowed people to treat you a certain way. Kind of like I said with the queen coming into the month, realizing, you know, what works for you and what doesn't and what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're not. And this is the 10 of wands, which is a lot of burden here. So this says that some of you, um, you harnessed a lot of responsibility or some sort of burden in relationships. Maybe you were always the breadwinner. Maybe you, um, were always the one who had to be kind of, um, you know, up and flowing as far as, um, like emotions, if that makes sense. Like you were always the the yes man or yes woman, you were always there to please other people and, you know, taking on the brunt of maybe you're with somebody who had a lot of emotional problems or had, um, mental illness somewhere here, you were carrying the burden of a lot of it. Maybe you were, you know, a stay at home mom or stay at home dad or whatever it is. You felt like you were completely responsible in these situations. It could even be as a young child, you know, you had a single parent who worked and you had to take care of siblings, or maybe you had a parent who was drug addict, alcoholic, and you had to help take care of them. Somewhere you had some heavy burdens here, Leo, like big time, and you swore you never would. And so maybe your relationships have been based on money or not all of them. And I'm not saying that's negative, but maybe it's been based on you both have good careers, not a sugar mom or sugar dad situation, which I'm sure some of you could say you've had or whatnot. But I'm saying that for some of you, the partners that you've picked have been based on these past burdens and responsibilities or like you you felt like you were the one making the relationships work. And even if it was, you know, when you were young um, with your parents or with your siblings and this is saying you're, you're not going to do that anymore. Like you want somebody who's genuine and who loves you, not somebody who you know, has a good job and you're not looking at their car. You're looking at somebody who's going to be there along with you through thick and thin, not somebody you have to take care of and not somebody who has to take care of you. But this feels more like whether you were single or looking to reconcile at some point in your life, you had somebody that you had to take care of, or you always had to be the person, you know, on top, you always the one to rise to the occasion and make things better. And you want somebody who's equal partner. You don't want somebody who takes care of you all the time or that you have to take care of all the time. You want to share those responsibilities. Um, and I think that with this transformation and this change, it's going to be like that weight of this responsibility, like the weight of the world is lifted off your shoulders. The next card you have is your immediate past. So the past few weeks, past a month or so. Um, the justice card is interesting because this card is a lot of times about marriage. Um, and about jo a joining of two people. So if you're dating, this says that maybe you've met somebody, maybe you're going to meet somebody. This is, or you've been meeting a few people and you're really looking into them clearly and critically. That's why the queen is here. Maybe you've met somebody, one or two people who sparked your interest and you're going, okay, what what do you really have to offer? What What's going on here? Because the justice card is about cause and effects. It's about absolutes right and so this there's there's one or two people I think that either you have met you're going to meet um and one in particular that I think you're trying to weigh out in your mind if you haven't met them yet you know then it's somebody that's possibly coming in but this is saying or you're weighing two people too which is interesting because that's almost like the judgment card but this actually is the justice card and I think they might be like on two equal planes. One might be somebody you're super attracted to, but you're not sure how well they'll hold up in a relationship. Not that you can't be attractive and successful, but some of you know what I mean. It's more of like a lustful type relationship or, or that's what it feels like a little bit. And then somebody else is more like a friendship type relationship, but you could see yourself being with, 
either one of them. So that's very interesting. Somebody out there and the, somebody out there is literally making a decision or is going to make a decision between two people. Now, for some of you, that may resonate with you. For others, it may just be, you know, one person you're talking to. But just this is saying you're looking at somebody or you're going to be put in a situation here throughout December where you're going to have to weigh this person who um, kind of has come upon your life, but you're not sure where to put them. I hope that makes sense. I see somebody being like, so he or she's really nice and they're really cool, but I mean, are we friends or could this be more? I mean, they've got their baggage. I have my baggage. I mean, we've got stuff going on here, but I, there's somebody Leo that's that like could very well be a significant person in your life. You're just not sure like what to think at this point. Um, if you're looking to reconcile, this is, this is the past couple of weeks you've been weighing like the pros and cons. And if we, if we never talk again, what happens? My heart gets hurt. But if some of you have kids, then what happens with the kids? You have some very big decisions here, Leo. And I feel like some of you are struggling with letting this go. Normally you would see yourself being like, screw you. You know what? I'm done. Like you don't get to put me through this shit and treat me like this. And I'm going to stick around for it. But there's something here that you need to know. Like you need to know that you guys will be able to take care of your kids together. If you have your kids, you need to know. I mean, there's some of you have some things that were invested, not just your heart, which is very important, but you had other things like maybe you had a home together and you just are like, I need to see this through and I need to know what's going on. If we're going to get back together, there's going to be some serious freaking changes because I'm not going to deal with this. Um, or the, if we are not going to see this through and we need to break up, then there's going to be some major changes. And how's that going to affect us and everybody around us? Um, and I hate to say it, but justice is about the moral issue. So, you know, maybe they cheated. Maybe there's adultery. Maybe you did and you're not sure what you want. Um, however, right now, Leo, I feel like, you know, unfortunately it may have been you who was somewhat swindled to a certain extent. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next few weeks, um, few months, usually like two or three months, and you have the 10 of coins. All right. 10 of coins or 10 of pentacles. 10 of coins is generosity, but this is being wealth and having excess of a lot of things. And since this is a love reading, it could be excess of money. It could be a new job. It could be financial success, but this is more of if you're single, this is more of wealth in love, wealth and romance. So if you get this card, this is saying, see, they're standing here or they're playing this game intently. Um, and this is saying, you know, there's like the two of you. And if you move your pieces right, then you could hit the jackpot of love, so to speak. But if you don't, um, and it goes to this justice card very well, because this is almost like the cause and effect. Well, if I move this direction, what happens? But if I move this direction, what happens? And you're just not sure. Should I put this person, person in the friend zone? Should I not? But this is saying like, you, if you play the game right, and I hate to say game because love is not a game, but it can be, right? It can be a game of finding out what makes you happy. Or, you know, maybe for the first time ever, you're actually feeling really happy. You're not quite sure how to play it. You're not quite sure how to, what direction to move or what to think or how to feel. And so this 10 of coins is saying, look, you have this abundance coming. I mean, major abundance. The 10 of coins is like generosity. This is about excess, like so much abundance, you couldn't even imagine what to do with it. So it's like, you know, your heart energy and your soul and everything's just going to feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed and overjoyed. And it's going to be this amazing, um, do you ever just for that split second sit there and for that, you get chills or you might get that warm feeling where it's kind of like, all right, everything's going to be okay. It's like one of those moments. So over the next few weeks, next month or two, Leo, you have the ability to have a lot of things in your life, money, job, success, but also an abundance of love and an abundance of, and it may even just be an abundance of really good people come into your life. Although I don't, I don't think you're looking to meet like 10 people to date. You're looking to meet one or two people and then go from there. And it's interesting because 
how we were talking about you may be weighing two people. This could possibly be you and you're going, hmm, you know, whoever plays their cards right is the one who's interested in me. I mean, again, it shouldn't be a game and I, and I don't think it's a game and I take love and romance and all that very seriously because it's a piece of us and love can be, you know, sweet and sorrowful and it can be your best friend or your worst enemy. But it, it's interesting here because, I mean, it really does come down to, Leo, maybe you're just saying, you know, you got, you got to, like, I need, um, I just totally lost the word I was looking for. You need somebody attentive. You need somebody who's paying attention. You need somebody who has listened to every conversation you've had and picked up on most of it and retained more than half of it, Right. And so this is you saying, you know, hey, I'm available. If you're interested in me, you got to put a little fight in for it. You've got to, you know, I don't want somebody who's just like, hey, I'm here. I like you. Okay, do you like me? You're like, no, I want somebody who's like, I like you because I want to be with you because this is what I think is special about you, which should it should be like that all the time. Isn't it sad that it's not like that more? So for your distant future, this is definitely a good card to have. If you're looking to reconcile, this tells me that there is something bigger for a majority of you. For some of you, it may not be. It could be um, maybe you guys just need to separate the home. But this says that there could be children involved or there could be some sort of legacy here. Some of you may be worried that if you break up, you know, it could mean devastation for your family and not just your kids, but like, you know, your parents or grandparents, I feel like this, um, reconciliation, almost some of you want it or they want it almost as like a saving face. And that may be harsh to hear, but it's true. Maybe your ex is coming back going, no, 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 no. I don't want anybody to know about this infidelity. I'll do anything. I'm sorry. Or maybe you are like, you know, we're not going down like this. Like, we're not going to let our kids or our family see us torn apart like this. You know, we're not going to do this to our kids. I've been there. I've seen this happen to my family. I've seen this. I've bared this responsibility. I've seen people I love do this. So very interesting, Leo. There's something a little bit bigger here for you than I've seen with most signs this month that, that the reconciliation may be something you want, but it's almost like it's something you need or they need. 